Welcome to another edition of the Hoop Scoop, brought to you by Red Raider Outfitter, the fans' favorite since 1975. I'm Jared Johnson. I'm joined by the Mighty Joe Yeager. Well, Mighty Joe, uh, Red Raiders opened the season with a 24-point victory uh, over Northwestern State. Almost forgot their names. Uh, directional school. They play another directional school coming up, Texas Southern. First off, just quickly, because uh, we have a lot of content out there, but what was your overall impression of, of Tech's victory in, in the opener? Yeah, you know, I thought overall it was it was a pretty good opening performance. Uh, you know, the first game of the season, even even with that level of competition, you can't just automatically count on a team coming out and hitting on all cylinders and looking like they're in midseason form. And you know, particularly when you got so many new players, you know, I thought overall uh, the team looked like it was pretty well put together and was fairly well. Uh, advanced for where they are at this point in the season, the earliest point of the season. So, I mean, basically what I'm saying is I came out of that game overall just kind of, kind of generally feeling pretty good about things, really. Well, good. Uh, now they have uh, the second test is Texas Southern on Thursday night, 7 p.m. at the USA. Uh, you know, what do you want to see? Is there any kind of improvement or is there something you want to see from Texas Tech that maybe you didn't see or more of what you want to see on Thursday night? Yeah, well, you know, I think the most <laughs> obvious thing here is you want to see an improvement in terms of protecting the ball, yeah. ball security. I mean, sure. 20 turnovers against Texas Southern. I mean, that's the one huge red flag where you're like, eh, I don't like that, you know. Yeah. Uh, they forced uh, Northwestern State into 14 turnovers, which is okay, but look, you don't want to be minus six in turnovers against Northwestern State. Right. So uh, you need to flip that around in this next game. Take care of the ball. You know, I mean, there were a bunch of guys who were turning it over too much. Pop Isaacs was the top uh, offender with five turnovers. Uh, I, I, you know that the coaches have gotten in his ear about that. Uh, so I want to see him particularly improve. Uh, you know, I, I, so I think that's 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 a big deal. Uh, there's some guys that I would like to see get a little more minutes this time around. You know, I like to see uh, like Lamar Washington uh, get yeah, in the game a little yeah. bit more. I think he played a little over 10 minutes, maybe 10, 11. You know, I, I think maybe he deserves some more minutes. Uh, and uh, Corwin Walton. Yeah, had a yeah. particularly good game as well. Uh, that was nice to see. Uh, so, you know, a little bit more run for him as well. You know, I think you can kind of shuffle um, the rotation around a little bit just to see certain guys who maybe flashed a little bit in that first game. Well, you reward them with a little bit of extra time in this next game, see what they do with it, and, uh, you know, some things like that. I thought uh, – they move the ball well. There's 19 assists on, uh, or 24 buckets on 19 assists, I and mean, that's indicative of a team that's sharing the ball. And uh, they shot so much better than what we're used to from last year. I mean, uh, well, I think almost 40% from three, 50% yes. from the field, and then like 82% from the free throw line. I mean, that's yeah, all. That's nice. Take that every every game, right? Sure, absolutely, absolutely. And on the other side, uh, the defense was was flat out there again. Uh, you hold them to 29% from the field field and also 29 percent from three so uh against a team that's gonna kind of pride itself and hang its hat on shooting the three-pointer so so that was good there, obviously there's room for the defense to improve i mean they miss some of those open shots so you want to uh still cover that area a little bit better but i mean for the first game out uh, i thought the defense was pretty much where it needs to be three guys i want to want you to touch on your first impression davion Harmon, jalen tyson and daniel bacho <clears throat> yeah, Harmon, uh, I thought may have been Tech's best player in this game, even though he did. Now, Bacho was the guy who had the double double, yeah. and everybody was talking about Bacho, and I understand uh, uh, justifiably so. Uh, but I really, really, to me, uh, Harmon looked like um, the type of true point guard, a really solid, rock solid type of a point guard that you want. A veteran player looked like a veteran out there to me, yeah. it looked like the leader who was going to basically control the offense with this team. I uh, really liked his quickness, his ability to beat guys off the ball, penetrate. Yeah. Uh, it was basically everything I was hoping for and more from him. So very good performance. Jalen Tyson, uh, quietly, uh, somewhat quietly, I'd say, had a very good game. Yeah. Uh, really, and he got cramps late in the game, which actually, and he didn't come back in after that. So it kind of limited his minutes somewhat. I think he wound up with 19 minutes. If that hadn't happened, he probably would have played another three or four minutes. Right. Uh, and he put up, he had a good statistical game. I mean, he scored, he rebounded. Uh, he had a turnover either. I don't think so either. And he may have had an assist or two. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah, overall, again, kind of what I expected from this guy. And I think he's going to be a really good player. Bacho, uh, 
no now the, the one thing about Bacho, all right, 12 and 10 for yeah. him, right? Okay. But he was playing against a team that didn't have a defense, uh, an interior guy with a post, right. with, a, with a pulse. A post player with a pulse, maybe that's what I was trying to say. Uh, what he's going to see in the Big 12 is going to be a completely different animal. Sure. So we can't, you know, uh, judge too much out of this game. But, uh, you know, the stuff about him that we already knew was absolutely in evidence. I mean, this is a very skilled, athletic guy with a lot of moves for a 6'11 guy. Yeah. You know, to have all that stuff. I mean, he's, he's just got a very high ceiling, uh, particularly on the offensive end, I think. This is, he can be a player. There's no doubt about it. Uh, I just when there were a couple of areas that I mentioned that I want to see improvement from him. And I think I kind of irritated maybe a couple of people. But he's got to be more aggressive uh, in pursuing rebounds. He got 10 rebounds, and people are saying, well, you know, what more do you want? He got 10 rebounds and stuff. But there were times. I saw this with my own eyes, believe me where a rebound came off and he was ball watching you know mm. he's got to and, and it's not a matter of oh well he needs to avoid foul trouble he, I don't he wasn't in foul trouble in this game right. and even if he was so what it's Northwestern State that's not what's going on uh, so he's got to be uh, more aggressive pursuing rebounds instead of 10 rebounds against Northwestern State maybe he had should have had 13. Okay. okay so I want to see that and I think he was a little bit weak with receiving inbounds passes hey, a lot on a of couple occasions. Were, yeah, yeah, there were. There was a lot of that, and it, he was the guy that I noticed most on that. I mean, that interesting. Now, part of that is the old traditional post game is people just don't know that. Right. You know, how do you do it? But there is an art to it. You know, when the pass is coming in. You got to get wide. Yeah. You got to stick that butt out. You got to put those elbows out yeah, and huh. kind of ward people off a little bit and go and meet the pass. You can't just kind of like wait for it. It's the same thing in football, yeah. where as a receiver, you don't wait for the ball to just get into your chest, right. you know, and let that DB just kind of manhandle you and poke it away. Same thing with basketball, same sort of physical approach that you got to have. And I bet you they're working with him on that. So, but hey, I, you know, if it sounds like I'm being harsh, huh. uh, Bacho had a very good game, looked great, uh, was either Tech's best or second best, best player on the court. All right, well, Texas Tech looks to go 2 0 against Texas Southern. Uh, 7 p.m. Saturday night at the USA here in Lubbock. Mighty Joe, great stuff from you as always. Thank you, Thank you all for watching, and until next time.